Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to take you to the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Many of you probably know that uh, this is the biggest art museum in America and um, actually in 2019 uh, Metropolitan was number fourth most visited museum in the world. How cool is that? And since this is the biggest art museum in America, I gotta tell you that it contains 17 different departments. Yes, 17 different departments and about 2 million artifacts and different works. Imagine that. That's a lot of art in here, guys. But today I want to concentrate on one specific department. And this is Ancient Egypt. Let's check it out. Ancient Egypt department located on the first floor and uh, this is the permanent exhibition so no matter when you're gonna come it's always there it's it's always available and um, I gotta tell you that if you actually are really interested in ancient Egypt you really want to check it out here in Metropolitan because they got more than 26,000 different artifacts from ancient Egypt which is incredible every time I come to the Metropolitan I actually go through Egyptian exhibition even though I've been there many different times but I go because it's it's just incredible you go in there and you see all this cool stuff all these statues all this uh, paintings and it's like wow this is this is something incredible this is something uh, something really really old and yet it's still here it's still in front of me and it's still amazing I don't know if you know about it but the Metropolitan Museum of Art building uh, is a National Register of Historic Places because uh, it's an NYC landmark and um, this building is quite old. I mean, it was built back in 1874, so it's like 147 years old. Imagine that, you you go into this museum where they got like three, 4,000 years old like Egyptian uh, exhibition. Meanwhile, you actually walking inside the building, which is landmark itself and almost 150 years old. Okay, there is one main question which a lot of people actually are asking about the Metropolitan. It's how many days do I need to spend in here to see everything? Well, it's a fair question because this is the biggest museum of art in America. So it's huge. It has three main floors. So I would say you need um, a day per each floor. In that way, you get a nice coverage. You can take as many pictures as you want. And uh, you can read those uh, those uh, little information information signs, you know. In that way, you you get a good coverage and you're not tired. So, yeah, please please remember that uh, this is a huge museum. So, if you really want to see everything, well, a few days, a few days, guys. Because I understand that some people not going to see everything because, let's say, they don't like certain things. Or they interested only in like medieval art, or they only interested in uh, ancient Egypt, or they only interested in like beautiful paintings. I don't know, like whatever you guys interested in, just plan your visit, and um, and remember that uh, it's a big museum. Uh, it's gonna take a lot of time, so at least at least couple days. Yeah, that's for sure. Actually. Uh, those people who live in New York or New Jersey or Connecticut, you guys can come to this museum and uh, pay as much as you want. I mean, literally, you go to the ticket booth and you ask for a ticket and you show your ID and they ask you how much would you like to pay today. So the tickets for you is uh, whatever, whatever you want to pay. So that, that's a good thing, uh, especially for those people who wants to come here several days. You don't have to pay like, let's say, 30 day, $30 per each day. No, you, you can split it like 10, 10, 10, and whatever, whatever you want to pay. So it's a good thing about the Metropolitan. And right now it's actually a pretty good time to go and visit the Metropolitan because uh, 
we don't have that many tourists in the city so the museum is not super crowded so you go in there and it's nice it's no crowds no lines nothing and uh, i think this is this is best opportunity to go and see this uh, humongous museum because usually when the tourists in the city and let's say i don't know like school kids come in it's it, it gets crowded and uh, you know you can't really see everything when it's like so many people in there but right now this is perfect guys honestly okay as i told you before that um the Metropolitan got about 26,000 uh, artifacts from ancient Egypt. But I never told you how they got those. So about half of those artifacts comes from uh, private collections. Basically people donating to the museum and the museum is keeping it and showing it to the world. But uh, another half of those uh, artifacts comes from archaeological excavations. And... Um, you would think like, okay, somebody went to Egypt and did those archaeological excavations and sold whatever they found to the museum. Well, no. Actually, the museum itself went to, the, to Egypt and did those archaeological excavations. And that happened uh, between 1906 and 1941. Imagine that. So imagine now you're watching all these 26,000 different artifacts from ancient Egypt and they actually located in 40 different galleries. But uh, this is not even the biggest part of the museum. I believe the biggest one is um, European art. And um, that contains about 60,000 different artifacts. Imagine how huge this museum is. It's just incredible. Honestly, that's why I'm telling people that, guys, you need several days to come in here and uh, see everything. Like, it's, it's not just one day thing. Metropolitan is, is a serious museum, no jokes. I mean, just look at this. They got a mummy laying down in there. They got those beautiful sarcophagus standing in there. And it's a lot of them. And uh, I bet all all of them are pretty old i don't know like maybe three four some of them maybe even five thousand years old and um this is just incredible like look at this colossal history this is like the whole entire world in one museum because i'm showing you only egyptian part but they also got like asian part like uh, they got Euro European art, they got uh, Greece, they got Rome, they got Islamic art, they got a lot of cool stuff in there, sculptures, paintings, everything guys. So yeah, this museum is really worth of checking out and right now is pretty good time, honestly. No crowds and this whole thing is totally for you. Oh yes, this is my favorite part. This is the temple of uh, Dendor, and this is really ancient Egyptian temple, which was built, uh, I think, by the Roman governor of Egypt, uh, Tronius, and um, it was built back in 15 BC. So this is this is pretty old, guys. And yet, this temple right now stands in Metropolitan Museum of Art. How cool is that? So you come to New York City, you see all beautiful stuff in here, and you also can see a part of ancient Egypt. This is just something you don't see everywhere. This is something special, something really unique and something cool. So yeah, for stuff like this, you have to come here. You have to see it for yourself. Well guys, I hope you like this walk through Metropolitan Museum of Art. Please remember that this is only a little part of this museum and the museum has much more to offer to you. So please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you later. Have a nice one.